ప్రమోద్ హౌ టు ట్రైవర్స్ ఆర్ డబ్ల్యూ లింక్ లిస్ట్ సార్ ఐ డోంట్ నో all right so many of time this happens right where how to say sir i don't know about this question whatever that you have basically asked right i have no clue about this right in this video i am going to discuss about the five important things five important tips that you can basically take it out if you don't know the answer right how to basically tackle these kind of situation right let me know if this video helps in for you right these are amazing five points that i generally tried it right one disclaimer you can watch this video in 1.5x so that it can be easily watched and you can complete till the end another thing is 70 7% of you watch the video but you don't subscribe guys please subscribe right all right so let's get started so first of all you know what many times this has happened to me where when i was basically giving an interview right somebody asked me this question about a topic which i have no clue right so what how to basically handle these kind of scenarios right and you know if you handle them very gracefully right i have seen multiple time for example my interview had started right for example suppose there was a interview for one hour in initial 15 minutes they asked me something and my morale was down completely down in this case right because i was not aware about the couple of question that they have asked initially right but after that i have molded my interview in such a way where they started asking the question which i really i have the answer i have worked on it right so how to do this let's get started and let's see in this way okay first of all first important point which is i think very 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 important is many times you don't know the answer right but we have a, i don't know what is in our mind we basically try to create some random answers and they will figure it out because guys let me tell you i have taken more than 250 plus interviews i think more than 300 now right i know when you are lying and when you are basically telling the truth okay so be honest with yourself simply admit that you don't know the answer but you can show them a willingness that okay promote sir i right now i don't know the answer but definitely i will learn about the concept and i will let you know this is what is the answer is right okay so first important point is be honest and let them know for example i have seen you can basically answer like this i am not certain about the answer right now to this question right but i will be happy to research it further and get back to you this is one of the important tip that i have tried it it works very very well you know what there was a one time if i remember i think in wingify where i have basically i don't know the answer for this particular question in selenium i have basically replied back to their email i have taken the email right and after one day and they were very very happy they replied me yes it's a correct answer okay so be honest and this is what it is second important point is basically of course you have to show willingness to learn right tell them express your eagerness that okay yes right now i don't know the concept right now probably i have forgot about the concept but i am willing to learn i will be happy to give you the answer after some time this is very very important willingness is all about how you can mold your interview if you say that okay sir i don't know the answer i have no clue about it let's be honest and show willingness i will definitely give you the answer i will research about it and give you right this is what you need to it sometimes what will happen is we try to make up the answer they will know and they will reject you okay don't do that third important point is provide a relatable uh, example for example sometimes we don't know the answer for particular project they ask you okay how do you handle this kind of project where we have very frequent requirement of let them know sir i have basically worked on this is a startup where similar kind of situation was there and just mold your answer in a such a way right so you have to be smart in this case how you mold your interview right the more example you will give the more real life example you will give right sir for this scenario i have done this for this scenario i have done this i think this is a similar scenario and this is what i have done talk about the past experience and all right so you can mold your answers in a such a way even if you don't know the answer they will get to know that okay yes this person has done something at least has done something in this case right so this is where you can mold it okay tip number 4 which is basically offer a alternate approach which means that if you don't know the answer you have no idea about it right how to you can tell them that sir i am not sure about the exact answer but if i encounter this issue right consider now make it in your mind sir if i encounter these kind of scenario i will handle in this way because i have done the with the previous example like this okay this is what you need to do you have to tell them sir previously i have done this that's why i'm basically giving you this answer based on my experience and if suppose there is a question for example dumbly link list you don't know how to drivers definitely tell them sir i don't know but i know what exactly is a link list how you have to do it basically this is a class this is how you have to do it there are nodes you can basically drivers go and back and all, all the things give as much information as you can but let them know right now that this is the information i know but i don't know exactly what you are asking or how to drivers i cannot write it in this case right this is what you need to do the fifth one the master one is molding your answer which is very very important you know in many many interviews i have molded they have started my interview first question i don't know second question i don't know after that i have molded in a such a way i have molded my things in a such a way where i have told them more and more about the concept that i already know you know when i was in wingify right i remember that interview exactly well right uh, they asked me lot of question about the selenium and i was very beginner at the time i think i had only 2 years of experience in overall software testing right so i have very very low clue about the selenium in that at 
the time right they ask me i told them ma'am right now i'm very 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 much comfortable in apis right if you want to ask me ask me on the postman side then they said okay let me ask you from the postman side and i nailed that interview i nailed that interview afterwards they got to know that okay yes this person know about the api testing as of now and he will learn the selenium and he will get back to us i think he will manage so that's where you need to do mold your answer in a such a way where your nos are looks like a yes so this is how you answer this is how you say if you don't know the answer you have to be honest show the willingness provide a relatable example offer a alternate approach or you can mold your discussion or topics in a such a way where it is basically beneficial for you i hope this helps right let me know which one you have tried in the comment if you are liking these kind of videos let me know in the chat just type yes in the chat i will be very very happy right uh, and small like right and if you are existing subscriber thanks a lot for joining in if you are new one consider subscribing i create videos around this software testing and test automation and the productivity i hope this helps and job ready automation tester guys enrollment is getting started link in the description do check it out i'll see you in the next video bye bye